Hey, it's Trix. Happy Autism Awareness and Acceptance Month. Today I'm going to review some products that were sent to me by Vampire Cosmetics. They're an autistic, LGBT, and women-owned business that is vegan, cruelty-free, and talc-free. First, let me show you what they sent me. I got a black lipstick, of course, and four eyeshadow palettes, two of them being book palettes. Their book palettes are, I believe, a unique concept to this brand. They are not only centered around literary works like Wuthering Heights and Dracula, but instead of a large 30 pan palette, they are more compact and you can flip through them like a book, having three different color stories and 10 pans in each page. The two book palettes that I got are Cthulhu Desserts and Cthulhu Cocktails. The other two palettes I got are the Jack-O-Lantern palette and the Vincent Price palette, which has some UV reactive shades. If you want to see me swatch every single shade in all four of these palettes, including the liquid lipstick, and create this look with most of the shades, keep on watching. So this one has some shades that are UV reactive. I'm super excited to see that, and we're going to test that as well, both in and out of the pan. Looks so cute. So here it is open. I like that you can take the top off, and it's just magnetized. You could also like spin it open a little bit like that. So I picked out this palette specifically because it has a bright red, orange, yellow, purple, black, and white, and those colors are hard to find, hard to make, and hard to find good ones. So I'm super excited to swatch those. Let's get started. So here is King of Horror swatched. That's really nice. Um, I hope it comes out good when using a brush. I can use another finger for spooks. This is the um, bright orange. Okay, I see you. I'm not very good at swatching. Let's do Red Death. I'll go in like color order. This is the red shade. It's more of a red orange than a true red, but it still looks pretty good. Let's go in with Mask, which is a bright fuchsia pink shade. I really like that. It is a little patchy, but I did like go over it. So there's another pass with that. So here's Terror, and Terror has some shimmer in it. So pretty. Here is Thriller, the bright green in the palette. Wow, that looks really nice on camera. Next is the Raven, which is the black shade. Oh wow, that looks good. That's pretty nice. And then we have Ghoul, which is the white shade. They all feel really smooth, too. They don't feel dry. They kind of feel like butter. So I did go over that a few times, but you can still see it. Nice. So here is that yellow, orange, the red. The red even kind of glows. I love that. The pink. And then this arm, we have the purple, green, black, and white. Here is how they look in the pan. All right, now let's watch the jack-o'-lantern palette. Again, the top comes off and it has a mirror in this one. That's so cute. All right, I'm just going to go from left to right. So first up is Casket, which is like a dark wine red. Next up is Haunted, which is a black shade. I'm probably going to butcher the pronunciation, but um, Tamane, I think this one's called. It is like a... I think this is a satin. Um, kind of like purpley, gray, dark color. Here is a matte, kind of orangish, neutral shade called Cemetery. Now we're gonna swatch Monsters, which is again another satin, I believe, textured shade. It's really pretty. It is a shimmery green. Oh wow, that is stunning. <laughs> I really love this. This would look gorgeous in like a, like a mermaid or a snake kind of makeup look. And after that we have Candy Apple. I picked this palette out specifically for these dark greens. This one's a little bit patchy. It's kind of drier too, to the touch. So I'll build up that swatch a little more. This color palette is really pretty. All right, next is Trick or Treat. 
I also tried to pick palettes that had colors I would use every day, so I could use these to replace um, my collection. And I love yellow golds. It's really pretty. The next shade is called Bats. It's a nice orange shade. Not too bright. Oh wow. That's really pretty. This one looks pretty bright on the skin, and there's actually a brighter orange in this palette, so I'm excited to see how that turns out. <laughs> They're all just going down the side of my arm. Okay, uh, I think we have enough room for the last four. This next shade is called Witches. It is another shimmery satin shade. It's really pretty. And the website said that you could use these um, wet or dry. I'm not sure if they mean all of them or if they're talking about their shimmer shades. Here's a dark purple matte called Apparition. Again, it's kind of dry like the dark green, but it is buildable. Next is the bright orange called Jack-o-lantern. Oh wow, that's really pretty. So Bats is more of like a yellow orange it kind of looks like, and Jack-o-lantern is more of a true orange. All of these together is such a good color story. Then the last shade is a satin orange shimmer shade called Autumn. Oh wow, that's gorgeous. Wow, that is so smooth. So this is the Jack-o-lantern palette, all swatched. What shade is your favorite? I think, honestly, all the satin shades are my favorite. These swatched beautifully, the texture is great. I can't wait to use them. I really love to do a um, sunset look with a shimmery purple on the lid, and that looks perfect for that. Um, which is since the Cthulhu palettes have 30 shades each I'm not going to go down the line and individually swatch each one on camera I am just going to swatch them all and then show you guys and then say the names of all of them in the line so first let's show you guys the Cthulhu cocktails palette look at how cute that is and they're pretty compact too here is an Anastasia palette for reference to size they are pretty much the same um, this one's just a little bit wider and a tad bit longer, a little thicker as well. Here's the first page. I'm going to swatch them in order um, left to right and up and down. I am super excited to use these. They look so pretty and if the formula is anything like the satins in the jack o palette, I'm going to be really happy. Here's the second page. These are more like neon colors. Obviously, you can tell that's why I picked this one. And then the third page. Here is the first page, all swatched. These are stunning. So from top to bottom, we have Absinthe, Old Gods, Green Fairy, Enchantress, Bootleg, Underground, 1940s, Gilded, Parisian, and darkness. I love these. I especially love Enchantress, this bright dark blue, and Green Fairy, as well as the 1940s. I think that's a gorgeous gold shade. Here is the second page of the Cthulhu Cocktails palette. From top to bottom, we have Enemy Skulls, Pirate, Macaw, Dirty Sunshine, From Cthulhu, Sands of Time, Satchel, Swamp, Booty, and Trees Talk. I love how bright these shades are. Swamp, this one, is a little patchy, and Sands of Time is a little hard to see on my skin tone, but it is a yellowy, peachy kind of nude color. Here is the last page of the Cthulhu Cocktails palette. We have, from top to bottom, Blood, Sweat and Tears, to the stars, I love that one. Champagne, Tentacles, Elder Being, Golden Age, Detrius, I think that's how to pronounce that one, Cthulhu, and Sea Urchin. I love Sea Urchin, that last shimmery green at the bottom. And Detritus, I think it's actually how you pronounce it. Detritus, this brown shade, it took about three passes with this shade, and it just did not really want to swatch all that well but I love To The Stars, that one is gorgeous. 
All right, my arm is all clean again. Let's move on to the Cthulhu Desserts palette. Here's the first page, the second page, and the third page. Here are the swatches for the first page of the Cthulhu Desserts palette. From top to bottom, we have Frosting, Edible Horror, Pink Tentacle, Party in the Deep, Strawberry Dreams, Gods, Blinded by Love, Rosy Ring, Baked, and Depths. Blinded by Love is the white shade, and it did take a few passes to get it this opaque. As you can see, it's still a little um, translucent, but I assume that I could build it up more. All right, here is the second page of the Cthulhu Desserts palette swatched. From top to bottom, we have Extra Chips, Blood Pudding, Necronom Nom, Caked, Extra Filling, Starstruck, Cthulhu Cutie, Tentacles, Frosted, and Tasty. I love Tasty. I can't wait to use that. And Frosted. And Cthulhu Cutie. This one's like a lighter version of the Cthulhu from the other palette. Here are the swatches for the third page in the Cthulhu Desserts palette. From top to bottom, we have Demur Demigod, Demur, <laughs> Pie Hole, Fresh Hell, Pastry Pasties, Secret Society, Forked Up, Mud Pie, Key Lime, Recipe for Disaster, and Slice. Again, I had issues swatching the brown kind of neutral shades like Forked Up and Slice. They just did not want to swatch very well. Slice more so than Forked Up, but overall pretty good. They swatch really nice. I love the first three shades and the gold shade. Here is the liquid lipstick that I got. The packaging is really cute. I love the holographic detailing. Go ahead and open it. I got the shade Dracula, which is their black lipstick shade. And they come in these cute little wine bottles. I think it's adorable. It says Pinot Noir 2022. So I'm going to swatch it on the back of my hand. It smells like cake batter. It smells really good. Here is the applicator. There is some product on there. It's a little excess. I'm going to rub it off, but just a standard foot applicator. One pass with the lipstick. And it does say that it's supposed to be um, transfer proof if applied correctly for a few hours. So we will wait for that to dry and see if it's transfer proof. All right, let's create a look with all of these shades. I'm going to try to incorporate as many as I can. All right, we are all primed and ready to get started. I think I'm going to recreate my Rainbow Sunset half cut crease. That way I can use as many shades as possible, but I'm going to throw in some of the shimmer shades as well. So let's see, to start out, I think I'm going to use a pink shade. So let's open up the Cthulhu Dessert palette and pick up Strawberry Dreams. I'm going to take this on a small pencil brush. I'm using the Morphe M431. I'm going to use the little mirror from the jack-o'-lantern palette. And just pack this in the crease. The only issue I'm having with the book palettes is that it's hard to keep them open on a specific page. I might just have to like crease them a little harder. I really don't like creasing my books, so this is like giving me the same feeling. But if that's what I have to do, so be it. Here's the pink laid down. It's quite pigmented. There was some kickback in the pan. I don't care about that. I don't know if you do, so I'm just letting you know in case you do. I'm going to buff that out a little bit and then put a orange on top of that. I think I'm going to go in with the jack-o'-lantern shade, that bright orange from that palette. It blended out really well. I love that. This was just using some windshield wiper motions and the same brush. Okay, using another pencil brush, I'm going to go in with Jack Lantern on these buffed out edges. I'm 
That, like, covered the pink shade. That is really pigmented. Okay. All right, taking a fluffier brush, I'm going to use an M433 by Morphe, and I'm going to buff out these orange edges. This is going to be a very dramatic look, but I'm here for it. All right, now I'm going to take a yellow shade. Um, I'm going to take the one from the Vincent Price palette. When I was wiping those swatches off my arm, the yellow one kind of stained, which I've never had a yellow eyeshadow stain before, so... It's pigmented. I think just to be safe, I'm going to use another pencil brush for this one as well. That is a beautiful gradient that we've just made. They really blend seamlessly together. I'm going to build up the yellow just a little bit so it's a little bit brighter. And then just on my brow bone going into the yellow a little bit, I'm going to take the white shade Ghoul. All right, I'm going to add a little bit more of that pink because it kind of got lost in the blending of the orange and yellow. That looks fantastic. All right, now I'm going to put a dark purple into the crease. I think I'm going to use Apparition from the Jack-O-Lantern palette for this shade. All right, I'm just taking a tiny little flat brush and grabbing Apparition to put in my crease. Okay, I'm going to go back in with some Strawberry Dreams to blend this out. It's hard to make a good purple and a good blendable purple, but I think this one did a pretty good job. I think I'm going to take a little bit of that pink shade on the same brush that I used for the purple, just to kind of blend them together a little bit better. I like this, it's kind of like a grunge sunset. Okay, I'm going to cut the crease with some foundation and a flat brush, and I'll be right back. All right, the crease is cut. I want to use that dark blue shade in Chantress, so I'm going to use that in the outer corners. It is a um, satin shimmery shade rather than matte, but I don't care. <laughs> I'm going to take it on the brush that already has the purple on it, just to make it a little easier to blend. And this is from the Cocktails palette. I, oh my god, that's so pretty. I love it. So for the lid, I'm going to use the shimmery satin version of all the colors that we used in the crease. So for the purple, I'm going to go in with Witches from the Jack-O-Lantern palette. Again, on that same brush, just to make it easier to blend. That looks really pretty with Enchantress. I'm going to go in with Tasty from the Cthulhu Desserts palette. And the shimmer shades blend very nicely into each other. And this is them dry too. I wonder how they would look wet. Now I'm going to use a shimmery orange shade. So there isn't a shimmery orange shade. I'm going to instead go in with the shade Baked from the first page of the Cthulhu Desserts palette on the same brush we used for Tasty the Pink. Now I'm going to take a shimmery gold shade. That one is called Trick or Treat. All right, I'm going to do some eyeliner and then we will start working on the bottom lower lashes. So my brain is not the smartest and I completely forgot about the shade Autumn because that one is a shimmery orange. So I'm going to grab that and put that over the baked shade that I used earlier. That looks great. The other one looks good, but this one just ties it all together a little bit better. I am loving this so far. Let's zoom you back in so we can do the lower lash line. I'm going to go in with Enchantress just on the outer corner with a small paintbrush. Now I'm going to find a bit of a lighter blue, so I think I'm going to use Enemy Skulls from the next page of the Cthulhu Cocktails palette on the same brush just to help them blend together. And I'm not worrying how far I'm dragging these down simply because I'm going to go in with foundation and kind of clean them up later. Now I think I'm going to use one of the teal shades. I'm going to go in with Absinthe on the same brush. I'm just going to put a little bit of this right over some of that blue. 
Now I'm going to take a neon green. I think I'm going to use the one from the Vincent Price palette. It's called Thriller. I'm going to clean off my brush a little bit before dipping into that so there's no more blue tones. Okay, now I'm going to use King of Horror, the yellow shade in the Vincent Price palette for the inner corner. Look at how well these blended together. I'm going to mix the gold from the jack-o'-lantern palette that we used earlier and to the stars for an inner corner highlight. I think those together are gonna be crazy. So I'm gonna start off with to the stars on that same brush, just wiped off. Usually I use my fingers when I'm doing my inner corner, but I want this kind of focused in a small little area. Now let's layer trick or treat on top of that. All right, here's the eye look all complete. Let's try the liquid lipstick. I'm not entirely sure if I'm going to wear it with this look, but I might. Here is what we did on our hand. It is not moving. It does move when you apply some pressure to it, so obviously don't like rub your lips really hard, but it isn't transfer well, that's not the best finger for it it's not transferring so that's good <laughs> let's try this on the lips and see how it looks not wearing any lip liner probably should have before i applied this but it's okay now we'll see if it like bleeds out okay i i do like it with the black lipstick that is my vibe. I am going to go in with a little bit of black eyeliner just to do my um, edges, but that was one um, pump, I guess you would call it, of product. I like it. It looks fun. Um, I'm going to just put a little bit more right in that area. All right, here is the look all complete. Here is a little bit about Vampire Cosmetics. They have been sold in over 120 independent stores as well as Hot Topic, so you can get their products at hottopic.com. And if you want to support me, I do have an affiliate link in the description as well as a discount code you can use as well, which is Goddess Misfit. It says, we strive to be a beauty disruptor, renouncing social constructs of beauty and replacing them with individual ones. We believe gender is a construct, perfect for me, <laughs> and has no place in our business. We refuse to gender our products because they are for everyone. We want to help those who use our products feel empowered enough to show up in their skin however they wish. And we also believe vegan, cruelty, and talc-free should be the baseline for cosmetics, not something to brag about. We believe beauty is in everyone. We simply provide the tools as an option for the expression of it. I love that. It is so great to support autistic people, not just during Autism Awareness and Acceptance Month, but all year round. I loved all the products that I used today. I especially love the packaging for all of them. I think it is so beautifully made and the attention to detail is phenomenal. Thank you so much Vampire Cosmetics for including me in your Autism Awareness and Acceptance Month celebration. And thank you for sending me these products to review. I love them so much and I will definitely be using them in my everyday makeup routine. Thank you guys so, so much for watching. I hope you have a great day. Bye.